Hi everyone, welcome to FivePointsBlue.com. I'm Kelsey Charles, joined by Christy Scales, Nita Shrikanth, and Lindsey Cash. Guys, the Cowboys are coming off a huge win against the Colts, beating them 42-7 to in what was a really big game for this team. They clinched the division. They're heading to the playoffs, and they're 11-4. This team has completely exceeded expectations. So talk to me about how far they've come since what you initially thought they would be at the beginning of this year. What did you have them as? Lindsay, you go first. Going oh into gosh, the season. I be said honest. worse than last year. Worse okay. than last year for sure. Me too. Nita? Oh gosh, I think five and 11, to be honest. Well, I'm an optimist. I had them at nine and seven and hoping for a playoff spot, hoping nine would be good enough for a playoff spot. Wow, see, I was not even thinking 500. I was just like, no, this team, they've lost Sean Lee, they're losing guys. They've already lost one of their draft picks. I mean, this is not looking good, but they've obviously been able to do great this, so far this year. Another guy on this team has exceeded expectations is their quarterback, Tony Romo. I mean, he's been nothing short of fantastic this year, really leading this team and, and doing what he's supposed to do. So is Tony Romo a candidate for MVP? He's a candidate. I don't think he's going to win it, though. It's, it's one of those things right now. You have DeMarco Murray and Tony Romo as candidates on this team. And unfortunately, you can't have two true MVP candidates from the same team. They're not going to compete against each other. So every vote for Tony is a, a vote away from Murray. Every vote for Murray is a, a vote away from Tony. So I don't know how it. much they look at the whole big picture of what, you know, the team and the coaching and everything this team has overcome. If you look back at last year, People, you know, were getting so tired of eight and eight and what Tony Romo was doing. I think eight and eight was above and beyond what they should have done. Anyways, what the coaching staff has done and how Tony has overcome everything in his back. If people really sit back and measure all the outside circumstances that this team and this staff has overcome, MVP without a doubt. Yeah, I saw one interesting uh, stat and credit Todd Archer with ESPN.com uh, with this stat, but uh, Tony Romo was fifth in the league in touchdown passes, yet he's only 23rd in pass attempts. So he has been so efficient this year. But, you know, we've said all along, the team, everybody talks about it, that a quarterback's best friend is a great ground game. And, of course, the Cowboys have had that this year with the investment they put in the offensive line and DeMarco Murray, as you said, having such a great year. So is, is he worthy of uh, MVP consideration? Yes, but I agree with Nita. I don't think he's going to get it, unfortunately. I'm with you guys as well, but I look at what he's done and been able to do for this team so far. In the games that this team has lost, you look at, you know, Arizona, he wasn't even in the game. You look at San Francisco, he played horribly in, against the Eagles. Another poor game. And then with the and Washington, Washington he didn't play well and then he got hurt. So it just, he, I just know he's just such a cornerstone for this team and has been this year. Mm -hmm. I think he's obviously done important things, but I'm with you guys. I'm not quite sure it's going to be enough for him to get the vote for that. But looking ahead to Washington, they did lose to them earlier on this season. Mm -hmm. They go to Washington to play them for the final season game this year. Guys, we've got some injured players, you know, on the offensive line. DeMarco Murray's a little banged up. So do you think this is going to be a good game for them to set these players, rest them up, wait for the postseason? Or are you like, no, let's gung-ho, full speed ahead? Hey, it doesn't matter what we think. It matters what Jason Garrett's Fair, think, right? what he thinks. <laughs> and Jason Garrett, it is not his style to sit guys. That yeah. is not who he is. Also, this is a young team. It'd be different if this were the Cowboys of the late 1990s or Bill Walsh's 49ers of the late 80s, early 90s, that kind of thing. But this is a young team now. A guy like Doug Free, who uh, has the ankle injury, bone spurs, of course, you don't do that. But DeMarco Murray with the broken hand, I'm... I'm guessing if I had to put money on it, I'd say he he would probably play. Zach Martin, I don't want him out there, but if it's up to Zach Martin, he'll play. If it's up to Jason Witten, you know, Jason Witten went in with a knee injury in the first half on Sunday, went back to the locker room, but I didn't see the team doctor or the trainer take a hacksaw with him, so I knew it was his leg was not going to be amputated. <laughs> so we all knew that we all knew that Witten was going to be back. That's the only thing that's going to keep Witten out of a game. So Jason Garrett on Monday was talking about momentum. Mm -hmm. and how it's a real thing, even at the professional level. And I see Coach Garrett wanting to continue the momentum and not pulling back and resting a bunch of starters. I think his, his press conference after winning the NFC East was his most the most confident I've ever seen Coach Garrett. And it actually made me really happy, but you also saw him speak from the heart. Mm -hmm. He said, you get 16 games. Why not do your best? Why not put right. everyone out there? And he also went on to say, DeMarco Murray, to me, played his best game. And a few people were puzzled because 
he had a one yard touchdown, I mean, very limited runs, but the fact that he showed the willpower to say, I'm going out on the field, that trickled into the team and the effect of the momentum, like you just said, Christy, they're not gonna lose that. I yeah. think I think you definitely play them, but to what extent? I mean, how many? You play them a half, you play them a yeah. quarter. Yeah, keep it, the momentum going, but right. at the same time, if some you don't yeah. want right. to, you don't want to push her, hurt themselves come playoff time. That's where I'm with you. Is if you can do it, like it's the third preseason game, that would be great. Exactly. But yeah, yeah. So I think, I think we're all in favor. I think you of play that. them for a half. Make sure there's no rust going into the playoffs. Keep the momentum going, and mm -hmm. then pull them out. Second Practice half. normal Get the whole everyone. week. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. well, we'll see how that momentum plays out come this weekend. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Happy holidays from us here at Five Points Blue to you and your families. Enjoy the week, and we will see you guys in the postseason. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas.